Hi and welcome to our um, interactive live demo um, that you can take part in of our new high availability uh, application that we've got in our new QUTS Hero uh, beta program at the moment. Um, hopefully going final within within a month or so. But for anybody that wants to have a play with it and see how it works, um, we've created this little demo so that you can see how it functions. Um, so on the desktop of the NAS, you're going to have the High Availability Manager application, which you can open, and you can see the status of the cluster. Um, so basically the way this works is over here on the left, this is the cluster information. So you've got demo HA, this is the name that the users would be accessing if they were accessing the storage, and it's also got the IP address. Um, each NAS does have its own name and IP address, which are different from the cluster. And this is showing that everything is functioning, fully functioning. We've got an active node here on NAS1, and NAS2 is the passive node. Um, the way this is cabled together is um, basically LAN 1 of each machine is connected to the main network. That would be a 1 gig, 2.5 gig network in this case. Um, and then we've got a heartbeat link between the two NAS, which is a 10 gig link. Um, down the heartbeat link is where the monitoring between the NAS uh, is happening. And also a snap sync, a real-time snap sync is happening between the two to make sure the data is replicated uh, from NAS 1 to NAS 2 or the other way around, depending which is the active and which is the passive. Um, so here we've got a, a dashboard that also comes as part of this live demo that you can play with. Um, this allows you to power on and off the whole cluster, individual NAS, gives you a sort of status information of everything. And to top it off, we've got a camera at the top right looking at both NAS. I would generally recommend turning off the active NAS. So if we look over here, that's NAS1. Um, so here I've got uh, QUTS Hero NAS1, and that happens to be the top NAS, which is sort of more in the view. We can see some flashing lights and things on it there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the power button here to shut down NAS1. So if I hit that, we're going to see the, the NAS lights on NAS1 uh, turn off in a second. So if I go here, confirm. So it should take less than 20 seconds, and we'll see NAS1 turn off. It only takes a couple of seconds. There we go. NAS1 has completely powered off the top NAS. No lights flashing anymore. And we can see here the numbers that we're all updating. Um, they've all kind of paused now, so we're just waiting... Um, for the passive node to realize the active node has gone down. And then it's all going to um, automatically switch over, no interaction required. Um, and then it should just come back up and refresh on its own. So we'll just wait for that to happen and then we'll continue. Again, this takes about 30 seconds. Okay, and there we go. So everything is updated. We got a warning at the top saying that it's unable to detect uh, the passive node, which is now NAS1, and the active node has switched over to NAS2. Uh, once you're finished with the demo and you've seen it working, or you want it to fail back uh, from one side to the other side, you can come back here to the dashboard screen and you can hit the power on button here and it's going to turn the NAS back on. So we should see those lights turning on in a second. So let me just hit the power button. Um, so it's going to say a countdown of about 20 seconds. In reality, it will take a bit longer. The NAS did shut down because the NAS now has to fully boot back up. Um, the NAS2 or the, the active NAS does have to realize that the passive NAS has come online. Uh, and then it's going to fail back over um, so that the active node swaps back to being NAS1, which was the one we set it to be. Um, so that's the uh, live demo, the interactive live demo of our high availability application that we have. Um, it's two parts. You've got the uh, a web link into the NAS and you've got full access to the NAS to do anything that you need. Um, and we've also got a dashboard over here that lets you do some sort of behind the scenes controlling to sort of imitate um, a NAS failure, let's say, just by powering it off so that the, uh, the high availability app uh, does the switch over. Um, so that NAS is just going to boot up and then it's going to fail back. But this is the, the interactive live demo. Uh, let us know if you want to have a try of it and we'll give you the uh, the login information and, and book you in with a slot so that you can have a go with it. Um, any questions, do let us know and uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can answer those for you. Thank you. Bye.